Good morning everyone. So getting ready to head over to the gym. Let me start this car because this beeping sound is annoying the hell out of me. All right, so getting ready to head over to the gym. Listen to that cold exhaust. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so getting ready to head over to the gym. It's a bit cold this morning. And the moment it gets cold, Matty C rocks a jacket. So, hats off to all you guys in the US and the UK living in the snow, because honestly, I have no idea how you guys do it. The moment it gets a little cold, this is my, brother, my dad's car with a little bit of frost. The moment it gets cold, I'm in a jacket. So, heading over to the gym, gonna be training with Danny today. Today is my upper body hypertrophy day so that means we'll be hitting high reps on bench incline bench and also some shoulder press and some other accessory movements for chest and shoulders so gonna get in there and crush that got the alpha mean in me got the uh, protein king apparel to bring more gains and that's it let's head over to the gym hopefully this car's warmed up and ready to go I'm running late to the gym as usual. Danny's gonna get there and she's gonna get annoyed that I'm late. Should be okay. All right, so let's get over there and let's get warmed up and let's get training. See you guys over at the gym. Oh. Check out that view. Wow, look at that sky. That looks amazing. So working with 90 kilos on the bench press today. So started off with eight reps on my first set and got the same on the second set. So I don't think going for 90 kilos was the smartest move today. Seeing it's my hypertrophy day, I think I should have gone for about 10 to 12 reps, but you know, I did decide to drop the weight after that third set of 90 kilos. So as you see here, I got 80 kilos on the bar, bumping the camera again and decided to try and rep out here and then decided to drop it down to 60 kilos and rep out on that as well. So I think I need to be a little smarter on my hypertrophy days and just bring that weight down just a little bit and just try and get, you know, more reps because I do usually, you know, try and work in the 10 to 12 rep range and it's been a while since I've actually been in that rep range. So, you know, being on the, you know, lower rep range probably isn't the best idea. So. Here, just repping out on the 60 kilos. So after this, I do move into some shoulder presses. And like I've told you guys in the past, shoulder press used to be one of my favorite workouts. And as of late, it's probably been, you know, my most hated. I think it's just trying to get the weight up. I mean, it's not the hard thing trying to get the weight up, but I just think, feel sometimes it's one of the, you know, awkward movements, especially, you know, trying to keep my shoulders into the back. And, you know, I have an arch in my back as well when I'm actually doing it. So I think it just feels a little awkward. And when you do start to fatigue on these, you can only, you know, get a really a, a couple more before you actually can't press up anymore. So I feel like if you do have a, you know, a good spotter with these, you know, you can really benefit, you know, with a really good spotter. I remember back in the day when I was actually, you know, a lot heavier. I think in my hand there, I've got about 28 kilos and there was a time when I was a lot heavier and I was, you know, throwing up uh, something crazy like 42 kilos. I mean, I haven't tried to do those, but I mean, that was probably for like three or four reps anyway. So I haven't tried to push that weight, but you know, I really can't wait to, you know, up those calories and try and, you know, move some heavy ass weight again. So, <clears throat> so that was my shoulder presses. So after here, you'll see me move into incline dumbbell presses. So again, 
starting off with 34 kilos here on the incline press and the main aim for this workout and mostly all of them is always trying to get those elbows as low as possible and try and stupid phone <laughs> and try and bring that weight down to my chest so just trying to bring it as close down to my chest as possible and just trying to keep constant tension you know on my pecs so i do usually do these over any barbell uh, incline because i think you can just get that depth a lot better and i think it also puts a lot less stress you know on my shoulder because with the bar i felt that i was using more delts than I was shoulders, uh, sorry, than I was uh, using my chest. So always been a big fan of, you know, incline dumbbell press and dumbbell, yeah, dumbbell incline press and barbell just flat bench. So I don't think you've ever seen me do f uh, flat bench dumbbell pressing on my channel. So not a big fan of it. And yeah, I always stick to barbell for that anyway. So did my two sets, sorry, my three sets with the 34 kilos and repped out on my last set and decided to just drop it down to i think i've got about 24 kilos there and just tried to completely rep out so the rest of the stuff you're going to see here are practically just accessory movements and after this decided to move into the cables and just trying to again try and keep constant tension on my chest while doing these something i usually switch up between the cables and the machine you saw behind me so just the seated fly machine and i like to switch it up just to you know i usually alter week by week and, or workout by workout just depending on how i feel and i just decided to hit the cables today this is something i haven't done much of and you probably haven't seen much of me doing on the channel and this is just the hammer strength incline machine i did this purely today just because i felt like i had more in me like i think sometimes when you work out you stop because your program has told you to stop and you know today was one of those days where i felt like i had more and i wanted to add a little bit more volume because as you know volume you know it helps and that's what i wanted to do so push a lot more volume so after that did the uh, side lateral raises and i superset those with just some front plate raises as you'll see now so that was today's workout guys did four reps of this uh, sorry four sets of these and completely repped out and my shoulders were on fire so that was today's workout guys thank you for listening to the voiceover and stick around because there's a lot more to come and a nice tasty meal on the way also So hungry. <laughs> Heading out of the gym. I'm tired. Hungry. All of the above. And just absolutely sore. Today's workout went really good. Oh, by the way, protein bar is dark cherry flavor because you really you really cared and needed to know that. But I thought I'd throw it in there. <laughs> so today's workout went really well. Hit my chest completely from different angles a few things you didn't see on camera were I did the um, cable and basically just did one-handed cables like that to bring the humerus across the body just to get that extra tension something I've done in a past video also did uh, some tricep work that you didn't see in the video but what you did see felt really good happy with my depth on shoulder pressing and with my uh, incline presses as well chest I hit 90 kilos for eight reps for a couple sets so overall really happy I think I still should be lowering the weight maybe down to about 85 kilos and going maybe to 10 to 12 reps but you know hitting 90 kilos for you know eight reps that's amazing for me like there's there was a time back before where 90 kilos was you know a heavy weight for me so you know one day but I can't I just really can't you know be more excited to see what you know a bulking phase a lean gain phase or let's just say a calorie a small calorie surplus will bring me you know over a sustained period of time I'm really excited especially if I can be hitting you know PRs deadlifting now and you know hitting a bench PR you know back in Melbourne and it's just a really good feeling and a really good you know 
thing I can look forward to while I start, you know, increasing those calories, you know, increasing calories. That sounds so awesome. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to finish this dark cherry protein bar off. I'm just going to say, not the best flavor I've had, but it'll do for now. And I will see you guys when I get home. I'm going to make something to eat. See what else the day brings. It's only 10.30 a.m., so got here to train. Started training around 8 o'clock, so did a bit of cardio. And now it's time to get home. So I'll see you guys over at home. All right, everybody. So it is currently almost 5 p.m. And I am so hungry and it's time for me to make dinner. So dinner's going to be a little crazy tonight. Something a little unorthodox, if you might say. But it's definitely going to be amazingly tasty. So let's, I will show you the ingredients I'm going to use. And then I'll explain how it's all going to work. Okay, so the ingredients for the recipe is, I've got one and a half kilos here of cauliflower, 100 grams of apple, I'm going to use half a container of Chobani Greek yogurt, and this is 100 mils of just some light milk, and here I've got Protein King's mango smoothie protein powder, which I'm going to use a 40 gram serve of. So, this is how it's going to work. <laughs> I'm gonna make a cauliflower oatmeal, oatmeal. So it's going to be one and a half kilos of boiled cauliflower. Then once it's boiled, I'm gonna take it out of the water. I'm gonna mash it down into, into the um, pan, into the bottom the pan, into the saucepan. Add the milk, mash it in and make it really thick and it really gets a lot of volume. Then take it out and it's gonna be a big bowl that I'm gonna add uh, the apple in and that's gonna make it like really soft. I'll probably add the apple in the saucepan Throw in the protein powder and it's gonna come out like a really sweet oatmeal. Trust me guys Watch how I make this. I'm gonna add cinnamon as well. Watch how I make this and trust me enjoy I'll take you through the process. Let's do this All right, so as you can see, this has been boiling for quite a while and the cauliflower is really, really soft. So, now we can get the process started. So it's done. So I'll show you quickly what it's looking like before I add the protein powder. I added a bit of sweetener to it as well. So let's see if I can get a nice clear focus. So that's what it's looking like. The bowl is huge. So that's very, very, very high volume. Now let's add the protein powder and see what it finally tastes like. So, after a long stride, we are finally complete. So, protein cauliflower oatmeal. So I'm gonna zoom into this because I really want you guys to see what this stuff looks like. Now, you may think that it doesn't taste nice, but I can tell you right now, this stuff is amazing. Especially for someone dieting. Check that out. Protein cauliflower oatmeal. I even wanna move it into better lighting for you guys, just so you can see, but it absolutely looks and smells amazing. The apples, the cinnamon, and now the live taste test. Here we go. Apples and everything. Honestly, 
you will not be disappointed. I promise you, this tastes a thousand times better than it looks. I'm going for more, you know why? Because it's my channel and I'm hungry. All right guys, so enough of me picking out in front of you because all I do is eat on camera, but thank you guys for coming on my gym journey today and my cooking adventure. This is like a cooking channel as well. No, not really. It's cooking failure, really. Especially with these poverty macros. So, thank you guys for watching as always. I just saw I hit 400 subscribers on YouTube. Absolutely so blessed and so happy. Thank you guys for following and thank you guys for the constant support. Don't forget to like the video if you did like it. Drop me a comment, tell me how bad that looks. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys in the next video.